Okay, so here's a quick walkthrough on how to export a video from your processing sketch. Um, I've got the, uh, well, this should look pretty familiar. It's the random walk sketch. Um, run it. Um, no surprises here. We've got the, we create the walker class here. We um, create a walker here and then down here at the bottom of the sketch, we've got the meet, which is uh, our setup and then draw which just calls two functions associated with the walker class update and display. Um, I'll put this right now. I'm going to add one new line to the bottom of my draw routine um, and that line is save frame and then in parentheses and quotes uh, let's call this frames slash um, uh, number sign, number sign, number sign, number sign dot png. What this is going to do is it's going to use the save, save frame function to every frame after the entire frame has been drawn, uh, draw, uh, write a file, an image file to the disk um, inside the sketch folder, inside a folder called frames, um, using, replacing these four number signs with the frame number. Um, so I'll run that now. And we get a few frames of our random walker. And quit. And um, now to, to get at those frames, the quickest way to do it is to use Command K or go to Sketch, Show Sketch Folder. And you'll see that my sketch folder now has a folder inside called Frames. And inside that folder um, is a series of numbered PNG images and each one is another frame of my video. Now to get the, all of these turned into a movie, um, I'm going to use Processing's, um, oops, I'm going to use Processing's Movie Maker tool. So I'll keep this available. Um, tools Movie Maker inside Processing. Um, this window allows me to add a series of image files as well as, a, as, well as audio if I have it. Um, and make a movie out of it. I'm just going to drag my frames folder. You take the whole folder, drag it in here. Um, I'm going to choose uh, compression. I'm going to choose JPEG and I'm going to uh, ask um, Movie Maker to keep the video the same size as the originals. Um, I don't have any sound so it doesn't matter. So JPEG compression, same size as originals. Use my frames folder here create the movie and I'll just save this to the desktop. Now I'm giving it the name dhughes-walkers so that I know whose movie this is. Um, and I'll hit save. Processing things for a couple seconds. Um, and then you'll see that my desktop, oh, index out of bounds exception. All right, this is good. Um, if this happens to you, just hit OK. And you can go into the frames folder. And you'll notice that your very last image file down here, here's my very last image file is not the same size as the rest. We've got a bunch of 2K files and then one that's only 43 bytes. Um, that means that we stopped processing partway through drawing that last frame. So let's just remove that file. I'm just going to select it and then delete it from my disk. Uh, and we'll try this again. We just have to, actually don't have to do anything. We just have to run Create Movie one more time. And this time, it should run successfully. Ta-da! Um, and there's my movie. So once you've done this, uh, put it in Dropbox or some other file sharing service and send me a link and a title, please. Uh, and I will compile these into a video. Okay? Uh, good luck!